Hi there. Welcome to this week's episode of the Ratliff Mandolin's Weekly Production Diary. And as many of you know, we are about halfway through the job of cleaning up the sides on a batch of 10 mandolins. Uh, so the next couple of days, I'm going to be standing right here sanding mandolin after mandolin after mandolin. But when we get done with that job, I think uh, before the end of the week, we'll probably be waist deep in uh, truss rods and fretboard extenders and fretboards. So we'll get started now and just see how far we get along this week. And yes, if you're wondering, indeed that is kitchen knife. And the other ones are kitchen knives as well, just ground down to certain shapes to wrap sandpaper around. And a second ago I was working on this panel here, and now with the bigger backer, I'm going to work on this side. And now that I'm more or less sanded in here where it's hard to reach, now I just have a little piece of wood. Actually, that's just a piece, a cutoff piece where I was making sides one day. A little smoothed up and everything, and I can wrap sandpaper, and it makes a good leveling block for the sandpaper. And now I'm ready to go for the main body of the mandolin. cleans up the side cleaning job on all 10 mandolins and as I was doing that job over the course of the last couple of days I realized that when I spoke earlier uh, about getting things in an order of, of what needs to be accomplished I was kind of getting the cart before the horse because I wasn't really considering mandolin number one which has triple ply, triple ply, triple ply binding on the back and that's a very time-consuming, extensive job, and we can't move on very far with it until we get that job done. So that actually needs to be job number one. So we're going to leave from here to starting the binding job on the back of mandolin number one. And then if there's any time left over in the day, then we'll start what we discussed earlier, the truss rods and the fretboard extenders and the fretboards for, the rest of, uh, for all of the mandolins, actually. So, binding on mandolin number one.
now I have the slot ready for the first piece of black white black binding it'll go right there now we need 12 fretboards for this batch 10 for the batch and 2 for the extras and as I count here, I've got 50 unfretted, unshaped fretboards. They're ebony. I have 13 shaped fretboards. Uh, four of them are Wingay and the rest of them are ebony. And so we actually have enough shaped, slotted fretboards to do this batch. So I'm not going to fool with the 50. I'm just going to start working these. Uh, two of them have the binding on the sides and they're ready more or less to glue on but the rest of them are not so that's what I'm going to do next is to uh, put the binding down the sides any dots down the fretboard face and the dots down the fretboard side and uh, just basically get these things ready to glue on. Well, that's about it for this week. It's Friday after 5.30, February the 10th, 2023, and you've been watching all of the things that happened at the Ratliff Mandolin's Workshop this week, and I certainly hope you come back next week. We'll pick back up where we left off, and surely to goodness, by sometime next week, we should be putting on fretboard extenders and truss rod truss rods and that sort of thing. So I certainly hope you come back for the next episode of the Ratliff Mandolin's weekly production diary. We'll see you then. Um, by the way, hit the like and subscribe button and leave me a comment. Let me know what you want to see and that sort of thing. I love to get comments. 
So we'll see you next week.